you've been conducting a, a, a retrospective survey, a retrospective study of patients uh, treated for melanoma with excision for melanoma. What were you trying to do in this and what was the issue about the interval between excision and the uh, sentinel node biopsy that you're looking at? Uh, well, um, as we all know, the sentinel node biopsy procedure is, is um, currently advised as a staging procedure um, as it gives us uh, important information on the prognosis of patients. Um, and currently, most guidelines advise to perform the uh, local re-excision and the sentinel node biopsy as soon as possible. Uh, the Dutch guideline even states that it should be performed within six weeks. Well, um, there is little known on this topic, uh, but as it has clinical impact uh, on high uh, urgency referrals, uh, we decided to do, to do an investigation in a large uh, European cohort of nearly 4,000 people who had a central node biopsy for melanoma. Right, so it, it could have clinical impact, but what yeah. in fact did you find? Well, we found that um, for both patients with a positive central node or a negative central node, uh, the time interval which was taken till the central node biopsy did not have any influence on the melanoma specific or the disease free survival. Now, why might that be? Is it because the excision is curative or, or what? Uh, well, um, mostly we think that um, the disease um, biology is, is, is written within the tumor itself. So the central node biopsy is purely uh, like some sort of landmark uh, of wh which stage the disease is in. And it doesn't as, as much affect the, um, the disease uh, itself. So it's not a curative uh, procedure. It's purely informative. Well, it's informative, but informative of what? Of um, a good or a, a worse prognosis. Um, for instance, if you have a positive central node, then you know that the, the, the patients will have a, a worse outcome. And yes. then you can decide on therapy. Exactly. So what steps forward have you made by this study? You've established that the, 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 the interval between bi sentinel node biopsy and the initial excision is irrelevant as far as the outcome of exactly. the patient. Exactly, yes. Um, well, that was our main aim, to, to look if this time interval uh, did anything on survival, and we've clearly proven that it doesn't. So it can be used in clinical practice to uh, reduce patient anxiety uh, as, as people tend to want to be operated upon as soon as possible. And we can now safely say that it doesn't matter if you are operated on within two weeks or after nine weeks, for instance. So it really affects the patient's uh, psychology more than the outlook, yes, yes because you, you, the patient knows exactly what's happening. What should doctors take home from your findings then? Um, that it's important to uh, perform the central node biopsy as it gives us information on the, the stage of the disease, uh, but it should not be used um, to perform as soon as possible. So get your information, but take your time. But do you have the higher risk or a higher risk of a positive sentinel node if you wait longer? Uh, well, we've studied that in a subgroup uh, of this uh, entire study cohort. And we found that um, uh, at univariate analysis, there was a higher risk for patients operated on uh, after six weeks. Uh, but when we corrected for uh, local center uh, protocols and all the known risk factors, then we, we could not confirm this effect. So, in fact, the overall message of your finding is quite reassuring. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Okay.